breaks down Tell me if you work it out I go all days to light If you come around Everything I do now Just tell me if you're house Hey guys, welcome back to my channel um, If you're new here, subscribe down below And give this video a thumbs up Today I'm just going to be doing a college Q&A for you guys um, So if you are new here, I go to UConn And I've been meaning to do this video for a very long time But I haven't gotten around to it But now that I'm in quarantine, I have just like a lot more time to film and stuff So I just have a list of the questions on my phone that I'm going to be answering for you guys And if you like this type of video, please let me know Because I'm trying to get more video ideas and like more interesting with my videos so yeah also um sitting on the floor because the lighting is just so much better like than at my desk but i might move my room around honestly so that will help me for sure so the first question i got is why did you choose yukon so um i actually sorry i am from connecticut so it's just a huge like i don't want to say like biased to go to UConn from the start but there are definitely a lot of kids that go to UConn from my high school just because it is close to home but it's not like too too close like not down the road so it's like a pretty good um distance away from my house I just like grew up going to the basketball games like my grandma would bring us and I don't know like a lot of my cousins went to UConn and I just always really liked the school I liked the campus I liked the distance um and everyone that i know that went there like loved it and I, it's just a really good education like i can't really think of anything necessarily bad about it um yeah i really can't but honestly it's a perfect amount of way like that if there's like an emergency or something i could easily get home for okay the next question i got are how big are your classes so when you're a freshman and you're just taking like all of your gen ed requirements the classes are a lot bigger like i want to say like 300 kids but then as you get older when you enter your major they get a lot smaller my are now like 30 kids and i'm pretty much in classes with kids like the same kids and i recognize them by now or like you've had a class in the past with them and like you see them again in a new class so that is nice about UConn when you do get um, older, I would say like a little bit sophomore year, but definitely junior and senior year, you know kids in your major, which is nice. Um, the next question I got is what is a typical day at UConn for you? So for me, um, obviously this varies person to person, but for me, I like to get up at like usually 6, 6.30, go to the gym. Um, I would, this is the last semester, I would go back to my room and shower and eat breakfast and then head to class at around 9. And I'd usually be in class from 9 to at the latest 1.45, sometimes 1 o'clock, and then that would be it for classes. And then I would, I don't like doing work anywhere except my room, so... I would get back from class and go to my room and then do my work there and then a lot of my roommates would come home and we would just like hang out and then go get dinner every day by day depending on like meetings and um like clubs or anything else that you're involved in but it usually isn't like a every single day commitment thing so like on sundays i would have chapter and then occasionally i'd have like ski meetings so it just depended on the day but that was like the typical day that would always happen. Questions was like, what's around Yukon? So this kind of like coincides. Um, there is the Buckland Hills Mall, which is like 30 minutes from Yukon. And if you don't have a car, they have a bus that goes there, which I used to take like my freshman year. And then Boston is not too far. I want to say like an hour, hour and a half away, maybe two hours. And then West Hartford, they have Lubeck Square. That's like 40 minutes away from Yukon. And there is, um, what are those places called? Oh, in South Windsor, there's Evergreen Walk, which is like more outlets and shopping. And then there's also like, um, kind of near Eastern, there's places to eat. There's um, like Chuck's, which is like Mexican food. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Well, oh, there's Store Center where they have like Blaze Pizza, Subway, Muya, Gino's, Haircut places, dentists, like they have everything, CVS, like 
They made like a little downtown area for us, which is really nice because when I was little, that was not there. So the food, in my opinion, was is pretty good. Like every dining hall is set up the same but different, if, which makes no sense unless you go there. But every single dining hall has like the action bar, which is where they make food like right in front of you, like pasta bar, like I think, yeah, quesadillas, um, crepes, those, oh, stir fry. So like they'll, you like walk in like the line and you say like, I want like broccoli and soy sauce and noodles and then they'll like cook it and just like pour it onto your plate and then it just like keeps going in quesadilla, you tell them what you want in your quesadilla. That is in every single dining hall. And then like depending on the night, obviously they rotate out the food. So it's just like an all you can eat meal plan. So you just have your Yukon card and you can eat in the dining hall. You could sit there all day and eat like, you, um, yeah, and as every dining hall is kind of like known for something, like McMahon is known for pizza, Putnam is known, that's what was my dining hall this year. They're known for smoothies, so you can put fruit in a cup and then you add your juice and they blend it up and make a smoothie and that's all day. And then every day they have like omelet bar and stuff like that but as for me personally I'm vegetarian so I was a little nervous about this when I was going to college too so I'd always try the food like I remember going to University of New Hampshire and I tried the food and it was so good and I was like damn I hope every school is like this but Yukon's is pretty good um there's a wide variety of places to eat there's 10 dining halls and um you can actually go onto the my Yukon app which I'll put like on the side here and it just shows you like the bus schedules, food, like it's pretty helpful. Okay, so my next question is how are the dorms and do most kids live on campus? So I would say the dorms are like okay, I think they're pretty average, um, but they do have some nice on-campus apartments. So I am living in Hilltop Apartments next year, which is furnished, so it comes with furniture and in the living room and like the beds and everything and then it has a kitchen and then everyone has their own bedroom and we have laundry and then we just have to share a bathroom with one person because there's two bathrooms for four people so it's really not that big of a deal but when you're a freshman you share the bathroom with like a floor usually and it's like really disgusting like i lived in north freshman and sophomore year i just like happened to get placed there and there was only one drain for three showers. And so if you were in like the shower with the drain and two other people were showering, it would like go down. So I would never share with anyone. Like if anyone was showering, I would never shower. So that is kind of tricky. Your freshman year, like you have to like kind of peek in there, see if anyone's showering and then like plan around that. But um, it didn't like interrupt my schedule. Like it wasn't like a big deal, but that's something you have to deal with. And then, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, but most of the dorms I think are pretty fair. Everything at UConn is based off of credit. So your parking, your housing, and your oh, class pick time is all based on how many credits you have. So if you come in with any like AP credits or like UConn ECE credits, those will definitely help, definitely help you out in the long run because you will be able to get a better pick than kids who came in with no credits. So that is something to keep in mind if you are in high school. Question is, how did you find your roommate freshman year? So I know a lot of people find their roommate on the Facebook page. Mine was actually random and we are still living together freshman, sophomore, junior and upcoming senior year. So shout out to you, Tasha, if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, it actually worked out well every year um, I lived with her. And then I lived with her again sophomore year, and then this year we lived with a bunch of our friends, so it was super, super fun. And we all got along well, and yeah. Um, I'm just like reading these questions, and our roommate chat is like blowing up, so. Question is, how is, or what is Greek, what is Greek life like, and do you live in your sorority house? So I am an Alfi, and I do not live in my sorority house. Um, I never did because I rushed as a sophomore and at UConn that's actually not uncommon so if you are a sophomore and you're thinking about rushing in the fall I would definitely do it I wouldn't think like twice about it even though you're a sophomore I don't think it should affect if you rush um 
I actually went to a school for one semester and then went to UConn. So that's why I wasn't able to rush in the freshman year in the fall because we, we have it in the fall and I got there in the winter, which is actually really unfortunate because I would have totally done it like freshman year. But anyway, I do have some advice. Um, I actually have a video about rush. So if you need advice, I will put it right here. But um, yeah, I it's super fun. I don't live in the sorority house also because my roommate that I was talking about earlier is in a different sorority and we always wanted to live together. So we just stayed together and you can totally be friends with people in like other sororities. I don't know. I've heard like some crazy things about other schools, like how if you're in like one, then you have to do everything with like people. That's just not how it is at UConn. Everyone's pretty, um, gets along pretty well. So that's super good. And um, we do a lot of events on campus with philanthropies. Like we do Husky Thon. I mean, the whole school does Husky Thon, but um, we got pretty involved in it. And then you do like your philanthropy events. Like we have Alpha FIFA, which is like a soccer tournament for our philanthropy, which is heart health and it just definitely brings a different level of involvement onto campus um, and it totally makes the campus feel smaller in my opinion because like you, you'll be walking around and like someone with letters you'll see and like you could easily just like wave to them or like you know of them or you know people in their sorority so it's super nice and I definitely can't really imagine my college experience without being in Greek life because I was so busy in high school and it just gives me more of like a structured schedule of things to do and there's always people to talk to and I've made some really awesome friends and I really have nothing negative to say and UConn doesn't haze. Um, I would definitely rush if I were you and definitely check out my recruitment video or not my recruitment video but my advice video because I, I would go into more detail about it but I made like a whole entire video so with my friends okay and then the last question i'm going to answer is how is the new gym so the new gym is absolutely amazing um the only complaint that i have about it is sometimes it does feel too big like you have to go to different floors to finish your workout um but since i go early in the morning it's never crowded so i've never had that as an oh, excuse me i have never had that um be an issue for me but um, I know if you go in the middle of the day, it could definitely get crowded, but that's like any other thing in the middle of the day when everyone's out and, um, yeah, I really like the new gym out. I don't remember. Yeah, no, I've never filmed there, but I'll put some pictures in of it. It's super nice. Um, they have a bunch of different classes, like they have yoga, they have like this 50-50 class, spinning, um, like honestly any class like hit zumba so it's super versatile and you just like go on to the um yukon rec website and then you could just sign up for them all the classes are free and just to bring a guess it's like ten dollars if you have any other questions definitely just comment them down below and i will just answer them and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below and that's pretty much it I hope you guys are all doing okay during quarantine. I know I'm pretty bored myself, but I have school work to keep me a little bit busy for now. And I'm sorry that I was on the floor, but I just wanted this lighting because it's much better than over there. But if I do move my room around, I will be having better light. So, Also, my camera is on the verge of breaking, so if this sounds a little weird, that's why. Like the lens doesn't even shut anymore and it's just like seven years old. So yeah. All right guys. Well, I will see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching. And if you are in high school, I hope this video helps you and I wouldn't change a thing about my decision going to UConn. It's probably one of the best decisions ever. And if you're torn, all I have to say is go Huskies. All right. Bye guys. Bye.